So in this lecture, we're going to work on building up the app visually so we can have everything in our storyboard ready to rock and roll. And then after that, we can go do all the hard programming to make stuff start working. So uh, you can see here from the to-do list sketch that we have, there should be a table here. And inside of this table, we'll have like a label, a text field, a checkbox, and like a button, right? So not too many things to add, but let me show you how uh, you can work this inside of the storyboard. So go ahead and select the storyboard. And again, we want to work inside of the view controller. We don't really need to mess with the window or anything like that. So first things first in this view controller, let me go ahead and bring my right side menu here. Uh, we want to add a table, okay? That's kind of the primary thing in our app is this list of the to-do items that somebody has. So uh, over here on the bottom right, hit your little circle with the box in it to see all the different elements that you can add in. There are a ton of different things that you can add uh, to a Mac app here. And what's interesting is a lot of these, uh, you can see like array controller, object controller, dictionary controller. These are more coding things that you can add to your app, but they're very intertwined with the storyboard. So uh, you'll see that there's a lot of instances where you want to connect these things, or you can, uh, if you're more inclined to just do it programmatically, that's totally fine. But I at least want you to know uh, about the different options here. Okay. Uh, but what we're looking for is a table view. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down until I can find my table view. Starting to think at this point, maybe I just should have searched for it, but uh, here it is. I'm going to go ahead and select it and drag it out here. And you can see by default, it comes with two different columns in it, right? And uh, if I go to our sketch here, right, one column is going to have the important exclamation point and the other one's going to have the actual name of uh, the to-do item. So uh, we want to keep it as two, but let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Uh, we want this column to be a little bit skinnier. So we're going to try and select uh, this column here. You can see now, I guess before I get into that, let me dive into this. So when we added this table view into our app, look at what happened here on the left about actual things that were added. There's this, let me pull it over so we can see the full name of stuff. There was a boarded scroll view that was added that encompasses this table view, okay? Inside of there, you have a clip view and then two different scrollers. So these scrollers are for vertical and horizontal scrolling. So that's if you know somebody's moving uh, up and down in the table view, but also you can have table views that move left to right. So that's what these two scrollers are about. Uh, there's a table uh, header view, right? Which says, you know, this column is the important thing. This one is uh, for the name of the to-do item. And then inside of this clip view, the clip view is what actually, you know, cuts off the table view from not spilling out everywhere. Inside of this clip view, then you have the actual table view. Within there, you have your two columns. And within one column, you have a table cell view and a text cell. And then within that, you have a table view cell. And then within that, you have a table view cell. Again, I mean, it is just incredible with all the things that come when you add a table view to your app. Like if we expand all this stuff, like it's nuts. Think about that in the iOS world. When we added a table view, there was a table view with maybe a, you know, default cell inside of there. And that was it. That was all that was inside of there. You had like two different things. Whereas this, it's like, burr, burr, burr. I mean, just, it's very verbose. Now, uh, talking with other Mac developers, I'm not a hundred percent sure of this, but I've heard that the guts behind the table view in iOS includes all of these things, like a bordered scroll view, a clip view, two scrollers, maybe not two scrollers because you're not doing horizontal, but at least one scroller there and these header views and stuff. Um, apparently that stuff's all there, but when Apple did the iOS programming, uh, they wanted to make things much simpler for developers. And that's how you kind of see it in a nice, easy presented way. So I would love at some point if Apple decided to kind of quote unquote, clean up uh, Mac OS programming and kind of make this uh, a little bit cleaner. But hey, we're here. Uh, things are working. So anyways, after that long spiel about tables, uh, we want to select one of these columns and go ahead and just shrink it so that it's a little bit smaller. Again, we only need it to hold those exclamation points, right? Um, and you can see with this other column right here that we might want to uh, extend it kind of out here to the edge. Okay, so now that we have our table inside of there, let's go back and uh, we don't need this thing to be so far to the side. Uh, let's go back to our sketch here. So we need to add a label to say what's going on here. So now I'm just gonna search for label. This will get us there quicker. So I'm gonna select one of these and um, 
I'm just gonna kind of eyeball and move this to be about this side. And I'm gonna say add to do item. Okay, and uh, after that label, we wanna have a text field there. So let's go ahead and search for a text field. There is our text field. Again, click drag out there. And I'm gonna extend this thing to be pretty long. Uh, back to our sketch. We should have a checkbox now that says whether it's important or not. So let's just search for a check. And so one thing that you should know, um, if you are searching for something, you hit enter, it will automatically add it in some random place, which may be good if then you want to go move it. Um, but I always like to do uh, the click drag whenever I have an item that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the checkbox button. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll out here. And that's something that I think is kind of interesting is that, uh, in the Mac world, the checkbox is actually technically a button down uh, deep down at its core, I guess. Uh, and I'm going to show you a couple of those details, but let me just add the very last thing here, which is an add button. Okay, so I'm going to search for a button and we want the push button. We're going to go ahead and add that and have that go uh, to the side here. Okay, so let's add a couple of details like this one. We wanted to have placeholder text to say like title. Um, so inside of here in the placeholder, I'm just gonna type title. You can see that shows up perfectly. And then for this check, we want to say whether it's important or not. So I just do a double click and I can say important. So now let's look at a couple of the uh, elements here that we pulled out onto the view controller. So I'm gonna expand this again. Let's kind of close up that table view. So what I think is really interesting is for example, uh, this button that we have, which should be named add. Um, this add button, look at this. So I'm gonna select, it has this button and then within the button there's something else there. Uh, so we're gonna select this little menu here. So here's an NS button and then inside of it is an NS button cell, right? And same thing goes for this like important checkbox thing. There's, this is, as I said, technically an NS button and inside of it has NS button cell. But look at this text field. It is a NS text field and then inside of it is a text field cell. So. Um, again, this is kind of a legacy thing with the Mac programming world in, in that, you know, different items on the screen can have these cells that, um, if, at least from what I've told, could be updated in a certain way um, so that, you know, because the Mac couldn't process so many things visually on the screen at one time, you could do this sort of behind the scenes with these cell things that was a lot more efficient. I don't know. The point is those things are in the past and you don't need to worry about what is a NS button and what is an NS button cell? I mean, there's you can edit just NS buttons like you would sort of a UI button. There are some differences, but the main thing that I just want to tell you is with the table view, with these you know buttons and their button cells, text field and text field cells, like it can seem like you're just way in over your head and there's too much going on, but just relax. Know that this is essentially a button. The checkbox again is a kind of a button, but it's like it's basically a checkbox, right? And this text field is a text field. Don't worry about the cell stuff uh, inside of there. It's kind of a legacy thing, and uh, just don't let it lead you astray as you're working on this. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop there. We have uh, visually everything that we need for our app. Let's go ahead and run it just to make sure. And uh, here comes our app. And there you can see it looks just like what we saw here. Now, what you can do with these uh, Mac apps is you can make them uh, use constraints in, in like an auto layout way. Because for example, look at this window. If I stretch this like this, all these things are just kind of stuck at the same spot. And if I make it smaller, it doesn't really accommodate that. Like these things are all just stuck in one position. And there's all sorts of things that you can do about controlling, you know, to say, okay, I want this uh, window controller, for example, or I think you need the window inside of here. You can say, uncheck this to say you can't resize this. And if you don't want it minimized, or if you don't want it to be able to be closed, like you can kind of specify things. But if I, you know, undo that check for resize, uh, you'll notice now with this thing, I no longer have the option to kind of move this to the size that I want. So um, for us right now in our app, we don't want to get too detailed with all this, uh, you know, layout stuff and having constraints. So I'm just going to have our window be unresizable and we'll just keep things exactly how they are, which from a design standpoint uh, makes things really easy for us. And we can just purely focus on the stuff here that's on the screen. But I've blabbed enough about the visual stuff. Let's go ahead and dive into the coding in the next one.